Now, since the start of this pandemic, many nursing home facilities were placed on lockdown. Yes, yeah, all in an effort to protect the most vulnerable from COVID. And as the numbers of positive cases rose, the lockdown became tighter and tighter. But now the Oklahoma State Department has, of health, I should say, has revised guidelines for long-term care visits. Those changes make it easier for loved ones to see their family. Mason Morrow spoke with one woman who's looking forward to the day that she can embrace her mother once again. It's not fair. Johnny Compton says over the phone to her daughter, TJ, a phone call just feet of distance, so close yet so far. A physical touch, you know, to reassure her everything's going to be okay. You know, you just can't, you can't do that now. After a 14 hour shift at work, TJ Compton bypasses sleep to sit by her mother's window. Every morning. The two stare at each other and talk for hours through glass, protecting Johnny from the outside world. She can't get out. She says her quote to me was, I felt like I'm paying to be imprisoned. TJ tells Two Works For You it's been that way since February. The spread of coronavirus put visitations to a stop. COVID cases inside the Franciscan Villa walls halted socially distanced outdoor hangouts too. It made her depressed for a long period of time. I mean, she lost weight. Even though she ate, she was just depressed. And then she would cry, which made me feel bad. Then Johnny contracted COVID. Oh, when they told me she was positive, I was in fear that she wouldn't make it. Locked in quarantine, isolated for 30 days, TJ says her mother had to test negative twice before she could move back to her own room. 14 more days passed before she was allowed to venture into the hallways. Johnny beat the virus, a threat to her physical health, but also a toll on her mental health. I can't, like when she's upset, I can't put my hand on her and say it'll be okay. And she'll get to hug me. And it hurts. Thanks to newly announced revisions to the long term care reopening guidelines from the state health department, that long awaited embrace may soon be on its way. According to the Oklahoma State Health Department, each resident will get to designate an essential care worker who's allowed to visit under proper PPE protocols. If it meant I could hug my mom, I would wear it. Reporting in Broken Arrow, Mason Morrow, two works for you. Oh, we wish them well. Now, a local long-term care provider tells Two Works For You it's going to take time to implement these revisions. They say that an essential caregiver must be approved by the living facility, and their status can be revoked if they don't follow the proper guidelines.